Hey there, Eugene here. So I want to talk about the story of the Iliad and some perspective I haven't seen anyone point out. Now, I'm probably not the first one to point this out to, or um, think about it, but I haven't heard or read anyone point this out. But it's rather interesting because if you read the story of the Iliad, you as a reader have a an insight into the different plots happening in the story, right? So when the story starts, Achilles and Agamemnon are fighting and Athena comes in, the goddess, and she stops Achilles from striking his sword at Agamemnon. Hera loved them both, right? So I'm here to stop that rage he has. No one else in the story knows about that other than well, it seems like a couple of gods and Achilles that that happened, right? So the whole story is filled with insights like that, right? Zeus has a plan to make the Greeks lose because Achilles had his mother beg him, being Zeus, to make the Greeks suffer so they will be asking Achilles to return and he will use his skills in war to turn the battle right so no one knows about that zeus sends the dream to agamemnon agamemnon shares the dream and we we have all those insights right so we as a reader know what's going on in the broader sense of the story even stuff that the gods don't know when they're kind of trying to deceive each other, Zeus and Hera, for example. So an interesting aspect of the story or the interpretation of the story is that the Greeks in the story do not know about this pretty much deal or yeah, that Zeus has for Achilles. They do not know that what was probably the worst period of the war, at least in the Iliad, there's nine years, but at least in the Iliad, the worst period there was more, more slaughter and they're tired and people are dying and they're crying and bleeding and so on. So that the suffering from all this is because of Achilles. They only see Achilles as the bringer of a respite, uh, their savior, the guy who saved their lives. So they treat him as a hero. Because he's skillful at war. They saved him. They say he saved him. So yeah, they bring him honors. But what would have happened if the Greeks knew that when they were dying and Achilles was in his tent pissed off, the reason they were dying and being slaughtered and their ships almost burned was because of Achilles. Do you believe that the Greeks would still love and praise Achilles or they would start hating him, probably want to kill him? He is the cause of them dying. Why? Because he's pissed off at some either property, woman, honor he was denied. So he's going to have his quote unquote friends, as he calls him, suffer and die for his honor, for his glory. So that's a very interesting perspective. And I do believe it's a mistake to give Achilles the same honors as the Greeks inside the story did. And again, I, I get that. Probably as far as we know, this has not been the interpretation of the Greeks. Obviously, uh, Alexander the Great tried to emulate Achilles. He was a hero, right? And he has been considered a hero until, uh, through most of Western civilization, probably around the second half of the 20th century, you started getting those soft-wrist academics starting to he must say he's a psychopath, a killer, and blah, blah, blah. So the heroic qualities were stripped as 
those of a villain. The same way that Christianity turned a lot of the paganism in Central and uh, Northern Europe into the ideals of devil. They have done the same with some of the ideals of Western civilization that have preserved. And pretty much Achilles now is a bad guy. But, um, given my perspective, is I'm not doing necessarily the same as what they're doing is like reinterpret the values of the Greeks and saying that the value of the Greeks were immoral. Again, again Achilles was a hero and he, you know, should have been, uh, his, his moral conduct was pretty much impaired with what an aristocratic man should act like. But, um, it's an interesting thing though. Like, what if the Greeks inside the story knew that he was the cause of their death and suffering? I don't believe the logical conclusion would be that he would have been praised. Maybe he would have been feared and as feared, praised. But the way of admiration that they had for him, I believe it would have, lied, it would have lacked. And therefore, also, the problem is like, why would the ancient Greeks praise this guy? In the same way the Greeks in the story. Again, in my day spent, I have a weird perspective of it. It might be that I'm too modern. And, you know, maybe the worldview of the Greeks did realize that and there's still nothing wrong with it. But I haven't seen anyone or read it about anyone analyzing that perspective per se. Um, obviously, the notion of a hero from the ancient Greeks and the notion of a hero that we have today is it's very different, right? So the original term of a hero, um, they were skilled in arms, military skills, right? They were killers. They didn't necessarily fight for the common good for the sake of the common good like get the comic book heroes to wear a mask and they they usually don't get any, any praise and even if they they might get bad uh bad perceptions about the people they're saving but they know that they're saving the people despite their bad judgment and they go ahead and help them kind of like batman that sort of deal right to, to still help the commons and they their lives are dedicated to help the common people that was not the greek notion of Harris and more either any of Europe until probably the uh, medieval times was a Christian knights but even then there was sort of a level of admiration that they would get so so what I mean by that like the, the hero the pagan notion of hero was quite selfish they were interested in gathering wealth they were interested in being Zine, Zine has the best, the best of the Achaeans, right? That's pretty much the argument between Agamemnon, who had the power over the, the uh, society there, the army, or Achilles, which was the most skilled warrior, right? So which one do you value more and interpret, interpret as the best? That was kind of the struggle. You don't see that in the modern notion of hero, and the modern notion of hero has transcended to, you know, um, outside men, outside military men. Pretty much, hero can be anyone you admire, and anyone you admire can have the opposite of the qualities and traits of the Greek hero. So, pretty much, it's just been flipped on its head. And like I said, most people. And the modern set, like in academia, at least that I've read, uh, like blogs, articles, etc. You have some historians where you can read, and they have fallen completely into this. But yeah, they psychoanalyze this guy, and he, he's a bad guy. He was unstable, mental problem, etc. But I don't know. I just it's, it's just an odd thing. It's still a fun read, and obviously, uh, there's a lot of traits that are interesting in Achilles. But 
I don't know. I just haven't seen anyone. The guy literally plotted with the gods to kill his countrymen, and his countrymen never knew. And that's why they praise him as a hero, even though he was causing a lot of the calamities during the hardest part of the war. Um. Anyways, but that was a little interesting point of view. I haven't heard anyone mention.